35th annual International Bridge Building Competition. This is the Western Washington Regional. And um, uh, we've been doing this in Bellingham for, Jack, how many years? How many years have we been doing the bridge contest here? 28. 28. 28 years here, so uh, we have a long tradition there. Um, the goal of this competition, the, the primary goal is to teach lots of students about building and about engineering, about building the specifications and, and making good structures. That's the uh, primary goal. And having the, fun with engineering. And having fun with engineering. <laughs> and the secondary goal of this competition is to select the two best bridge builders and they will be um, uh, earn a trip to the international final competition that this year is uh, questionably in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> so, um, and they will be accompanied by um, at least one chaperone, possibly ten chaperones, just to make it. <laughs> um, so that is the top two. The top two bridge builders will uh, get trips to um, to Las Vegas. So that's that's exciting. Um, we have, uh, the way the competition works is these bridges have been checked in. Uh, the competition is not to just see who, hold, who can hold the most um, weight. It's to who can hold the most weight and uh, keeping the bridge as light as possible. So it's the efficiency that we're looking for. And how we find the efficiency is we measure in pounds how much weight the bridge holds until it breaks, convert that to grams, and then divide it by the, uh, the uh, mass of the bridge in grams. So typically, efficiencies will be in the somewhere 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, maybe 4,000, something like that. Um, we, have, we are very blessed in the, the, this bridge competition to have uh, uh, several really uh, important volunteers, and they are here tonight. Some of them are actually real engineers. These two right here, this is Ryan Lormeyer from Anvil Corporation. This is Chris Renaud from um, Fiberglass Structural Engineering. And uh, Dan Bergman also is typically here, with, from, also from Anvil, but he's not able to make it tonight. We also have some retired teachers. Carl Rush is joining us, former coach right there, and Jack Crandall, who is the former physics teacher at Seaholm before I took his job. <laughs> before I gave you <laughs> <laughs> We've hosted it three times here in Bellingham, most recently about four years ago. Uh, the winner of the international competition, uh, besides earning lots of uh, the, uh, prizes, also wins a 50% uh, scholarship to Illinois Institute of Technology, um, who basically started and sponsored the competition. So it's, it's uh, quite a lucrative possibility there. Uh, I'm going to hand this over to Chris Renaud, who's kind of the head judge. Very much. Well, we're going to roll in a minute on to figure out which location we're going to load it from. But I just want to point out, if I make any mistakes tonight, they were both my teachers in high school, so they will correct me and grade me. <laughs> I just turned 40 on Saturday, so I think it's, I'm, I'm still there. Okay, so as you know, um, most of you have done this all before. Make sure you wear your glasses when you come up. The front of the bridge, we marked it with a blue mark, so it'll be facing out, and you'll go ahead and set your bridge on there. Then we're going to... Put the loading plate up through here. Make sure the plate is at the location where it's going to be loaded, and then put the, the bolt on and, and tighten it down. And then once that's on, we'll make sure everything's square, and then you will lift this up, it's 15 pounds, and hook this onto the hook.